Hi everyone, I'm Jake with Boss Lighting and today I want to run through a new product line um, that will help you save money with your vending machines, snack machines, and even coolers. So this is a, a quick and inexpensive alternative to uh, unplugging the machine or even you know just leaving it on 24 hours a day when there typically isn't that much uh, traffic around it. So today we're going to go through uh, some of the benefits um, and then also the quick installation guide and followed up with uh, frequently asked questions of these typical machines. So, I wanted to quickly go over the benefits of this product. Um, these products specifically sense vacancy. So it basically turns off the machine, your vending machine, cooler, or snack machine, when there is no one around. And so you're not using the energy, pulling the energy out of the machine. Now typical vending machines um, and coolers run about anywhere from 400 to 500 watts. The snack machines run a little bit less. They're running at about anywhere from 60 to 100 watts, depending on the lamps within them. So you do have uh, quite a bit of draw of energy from your coolers, your vendors, vending machines, and then also your snack machines. So what these units do is as you know, the night comes, or let's say you're at uh, a stadium perhaps, and you don't use the facilities maybe three or four days out of the week, or during the evenings, nights, um, it's going to actually shut down the machine to a sleep mode and control the temperature via that so it's not running 100% all the time. So the typical energy savings of each unit range anywhere from about 20 to 50% energy savings. So that's tremendous based on, uh, based on the current watts that a machine uses. The other major benefit is it actually reduces the maintenance cost on these machines. Um, these machines are always constantly running with the compressors um, or the lights inside of them and with the uh, with the actual vacancy and the turning of the machines off, it actually reduces the maintenance costs over the long, long haul as well. Now before I show you the product and how easy it is to actually install, I want to, I want to detail two variations that are, that are common out there and that you may run into. This unit um, is actually the easy install model. And so you can see it's, we've got an L bracket with the unit on the back and then we've got a sensor up top. So this would simply sit on top of the vending machine with the occupancy sensor checking out the field, making sure um, when, it, when it shuts off and when it turns on. But then we've also got another unit, which is uh, a wall mount version, which doesn't have the actual L bracket. Um, it's got a, a similar occupancy sensor that, that mounts on the wall with a communication line, so you can see the uh, communication line running down the back of the L bracket into the actual unit. And then uh, it comes with the unit itself. Um, so that's the wall mount variation. This is the easy install. And then they also make an indoor slash outdoor model. So if you do run into the, the cases of uh, vending machines outdoors, they also make solutions for those here. So um, this particular unit, um, real easy to actually install. And then uh, there's a cool feature that I'll, I'll demonstrate here. We've got, uh, we've got a Velcro patch on the back, which uh, has got a little adhesive patch on the back. So you can stick the adhesive pack, patch to the back of the, the machine and then the Velcro holds the actual unit to uh, the top of the machine. So as you can see it fit flat onto the machine and then again you've got your occupancy sensor um, detecting the field in front of you. Out the back we've got two cords as you can see. One that the, the machine would actually plug into and then we've got our power to the wall um, that feeds the, feeds the unit here. The other cool feature that, uh, that these uh, misers have built in is a repeater unit. And the repeater unit is used to daisy chain multiple, multiple machines on one occupancy sensor. Um, for this particular product, the vending miser, you can daisy chain a maximum of four units together. And so off of one occupancy sensor, we can control four machines total. So this function is real cool, real slick. I've actually got the, the other model, and this is a repeater model. So as you can see, this product here doesn't have the L bracket with the occupancy sensor. It's the exact same unit as the back unit here, the controller. Um, but again, it's just uh, it's got the Velcro and the adhesive, and it fits on the back of a machine. Um, with that, they send you a uh, communication line that goes from the repeater unit to the primary unit with the occupancy sensor. So again, the repeater unit has another port for a, a daisy chained third unit and et cetera, fourth unit. So that's a nice feature that uh, you can hook multiple machines up. 
save the energy on a bank of machines rather than just uh, having one and a bunch of these occupancy sensors hanging above the machines. So that's a nice function as well. So that's how easy the, uh, the, the easy install model is. The wall mount, mount again is just as easy, mounting on a, on a wall somewhere, running the communication line down at the, the base of the unit, and the machine again is, is there. The last thing that I wanted to run through were uh, some of the frequently asked questions of the energy misers. Um, as, as you run with occupancy sensors, there's always questions out there about uh, will they work, will they work in these product applications. Hopefully we can clear up some of that. If you do have any further questions, do talk to uh, one of our lighting specialists or energy management specialist for uh, some of the special machine, special applications of your machines out there. So, but one of the big questions that uh, always arises, will the vending miser keep my drinks cold? And uh, absolutely. Uh, the vending miser has been tested and approved by uh, both the major bottling companies. So it has had some field experience. Um, what are the other big questions? Um, are there any lo locations that the vending miser or the snack miser or the cooler miser wouldn't be applicable for. And there are some of the special applications, again, check with a uh, specialist on that. But one of the big ones is 24 7 facilities that are running all day um, with little vacancy. You will see little energy savings with those because it is based on the vacancy of the, the area. So be wary of 24 7 facilities and uh, in those applications because you won't see a, a huge turn in the energy savings there. Um, one of the other questions is, you know, how will that, this actually lengthen the machine life, um, as I stated previously. And with the, uh, with the controller on the back, it's actually got some microcontrollers um, that sense when the compressor's running on a, vending, on a vending machine or a cooler, and it actually doesn't shut off the machine during the cycle, so it doesn't short cycle the compressor and shorten the life of that. Um, the other way is it actually lengthen, lengthens the... Uh, the life of the light bulbs. Um, as you shut down the light bulbs, you're not using the, uh, the rated hour lives and uh, it actually extends the life of the light bulbs as well within there. So um, those are some of the basic questions that uh, seem to always arise. Again, if you have any questions, um, go to VossLighting.com. You can call one of our local facilities out there and uh, get the information needed about special applications and how you can save money with, uh, with vending machine with your vending machines out there.